are y'all? Um, there, that's better. How are y'all today? I'm doing good. I am Sunday afternoon. I did curl my hair um, for church this morning and it has flattened out. So I did look kind of cute this morning. Um, I got several projects that we need to get to today. Okay, so as your standard haul, I bought 50 pounds of potatoes. 50 pounds of potatoes for the two of us. Mm. But anyway, I need some of them I've gone through, and some of them are a little bit soft. Um, so those that are a little bit, I mean, they're not bad. I think that they would store for a little while longer. But the ones that are a little bit soft, I'm going to go ahead and do something with them. And the first thing I'm going to do is I want to freeze dry mashed potatoes. I just think that it would be so convenient to have mashed potatoes freeze dried. I could take out some. And my thinking is that I would rehydrate them with warm um, milk and butter, melted butter, um, and then season them up and all that. So that's my idea. So I've got um, some potatoes to go through, and I may can some potatoes up. Um, I've got to make supper, and I've also got a new delicious um dessert that I found online and I thought hmm that sounds good and easy so we're going to try that out too so I'll just show you what I'm doing I'm not going to record the whole process um, I've got some water with some lemon juice in here and note I am not washing these potatoes what no I'm not washing the potatoes because I'm going to peel them I'm going to drop them in this water and then I'm going to um, after I get them all done I'm going to give them a good wash up so I'm saving myself a step and not washing the potatoes first. I've got my handy dandy um, potato peeler, apple peeler, whatever you want to use it for, for that I just love. And I think I've shown y'all that before. This is what the, I keep it stored in the box in the pantry. But this is what it is. I'll link it down below. I'm feel sure that I got it off of Amazon. Um, so it's really easy. You, you have to kind of get used to it. But it's got this little lever handle that you pull up. You stick your potato down. It has got it's got little spikies here. And so you just anchor that onto the bottom. The top here has got a pointed end, and then you're going to move this down, and stick it in the top, and then you just turn it on and it starts to peel. And it automatically stops when it's at the bottom. This back up. And this is what it looks like. It's not perfect. It doesn't get every little bit, but we'll handle that later. And then I'm going to drop it into the lemon water. So I'm going to continue doing these. And then I will come back when we're ready to proceed to the next step. Okay, I got that box done. I've washed them really good. I've just kind of gone in and just, if I have any bad places or anything, I don't mind if there is some um, peeling left on it at all because it's clean. And I'm just going to cut them in half in order to boil them. These are um, smaller ones, so I think it would be fine. chunk this bigger one up a little bit more. So I have got my water bath canner on the stove with water and I'm only using my water bath canner because I don't have a big enough pot to hold all these potatoes. 
So I'm going to finish chopping these up. And then I've got another basket here. I'm going to peel, wash, do the same thing. And then I'm going to get them into the water and give them a boil. So I'll be back. Okay. <clears throat> I've got them in the pot. I have added salt. That's the only thing I'm adding. And it's in my canner. Okay. Wow, the potatoes are on boiling away. But they just really started boiling. Um, we're going to make a dessert that I found online that sounded so good. And it is pecan pie brownies. This is my test run because I think this would be very good um, for Thanksgiving. <clears throat> so, what you need is um, a family size box of brownie mix and it needs to say 13 by 9 family size and so we're just going to mix it up like the box directions say so i'll bring you down and we'll get started okay the recipe calls for um on the back of the box for three eggs i only had two so i mixed up some of my freeze-dried eggs for another egg those have been very handy I didn't feel like going over and getting eggs. So I'm going to go ahead and just add the brownie mix. Two-thirds cup of a neutral oil. I'm using avocado. And one-fourth cup of water. Oh, get my, my whisk and we'll get this whisked up. of my favorite things. Anything chocolate and pecan pie. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Hold on. I need to get the spray for my pan. Okay. I'm going to scrape down the sides here. bottom and make sure I've gotten all that powdery brownie mix off the bottom. Okay, into a, I just sprayed some Baker's Joy in here. I'm going to put this in. I've got my oven preheating to 350. see my husband sneaking in here okay my oven is not preheated yet so as soon as it preheats, I'm going to stick it in, and it says to bake 10 minutes less than what the box directions say. So, we've got a 13 by 9. It says to bake from, 20, from 28 to 30 minutes, so I'm going to cook it for 20 minutes. Yeah, I'm going to do it for 20 minutes. So, as soon as the oven preheats, it's going to go in for 20 minutes. Okay, while that is cooking, we're going to do the pecan pie topping for it. In my bowl, I've got one cup of sugar. Now, here's the snafu I've got. Um, it calls for one and a half cups of Cairo corn syrup. I don't have any corn syrup, but it said you can substitute honey, so I'm substituting honey. This is the the uh, measuring cup that I had the oil in for the brownies, so it's coming out really easy. Okay. Got a whisk. I 
have made a honey pecan pie. I like the Cairo syrup better, but. Okay, and how hot is this? You need a fourth of a stick of butter. I mean, a half a stick of butter, fourth of a cup. And four eggs. My husband went across the street and got me some eggs. Fresh. There's a shale. And it says one and a half teaspoons of vanilla. Oop. I still see a shell. Got it. One and a half. <laughs> Measure with your heart. Okay, let's get this all mixed up. Of course, that honey makes it thick. There's a cup of um, pecans. These are little half cup packages. I think I'm going to do one and a half cups of pecans. I always go heavy on pecans. I'll post the recipe down below. We will set this aside. We've got about 10 more minutes on the brownies, and then I'll be back. Okay, brownies baked for 20 minutes. You know, they're still ooey-gooey, and the middle is not cooked. The edges started cooking, but the middle's not. So, we're going to pour our pecan pie mixture over. And I just feel like it's just going to sink the bottom, but the middle. But maybe not. Middle is gooey. Okay, back in the oven for another twenty five minutes. Ooh. Hot potatoes. Okay, they're done. I drained them. I'm just going to use my hand mixer and mix these up. Smooth. Oh, there's some on the bottom I didn't get.
Yes, I think I got them all. All right. Let me go get my um, my trays. Okay, I've got my trays out. I did put the silicone mat in the bottom because I don't know how bad these are stick. If you don't have a freeze dryer, um, I read you can do it in the dehydrator too. So, I'm just going to start loading these up. Try to get them as even as possible. Now, the, the <coughs> potato didn't get mashed up. Now, the smart thing to do is to put these in the freezer and them get cold before you put them in the freeze dryer. But I don't have room for these four trays. I've got, I've been going through my, I've been working my way through my freezers, but dad gum. Um, so, I'm just going to let them, after I spread them out, I am just going to let these hang out for a little bit and come to room temperature at least. And then I will put them in the freeze dryer. Probably do not start it. It'll take a, it'll take a much longer time. Um in the freeze dryer doing that, but that's okay. I ain't got nothing but time. And then I'm just going to spread them out into a somewhat even layer. And then I'll be back. Yes, yes, yes. I'm a genius. Um, here's the trays. I think I cooked the exact amount of potatoes that I needed for my four trays. Now, they're still hot. When they cool down some, I'll take my clean hands and kind of mash them into the corners and stuff. But they're still steaming and hot. And they smell delicious. Now, I kind of wish I was going to make a country dinner tonight. But... I'm not. Okay, so while the brownies are still um, cooking, got about 10 more minutes. I'm going to clean up some here and then we will continue on. Stay tuned. Hey, it's just going to be a second for you, silly. Seriously, it was just a second for me too because, you know, I got this um, mason jar from Timmy that I love to drink iced coffee out of. This is the last of my iced coffee, so I thought I'd just show y'all how I did my iced coffee. Hang on. No, you ain't gotta hang on. Okay. French press. Do you have one of these? If you don't, they're very, 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 very economical. You can get them at Walmart for 10, 12 bucks. Um, now, there's more expensive ones, um, but the cheapo one does great. Matter of fact, I think when I did Fab Fit Fun, no, I've got another one in there. I've got two. I got one when I did the fa the Fab Fit Fun boxes. One came in that, and then I got this one at Walmart before the Fab Fit Fun one came. So I've got two of them. This is a Boudini, Bodum, Bodum. Anyway, the original French press from Walmart. And I'll bring it down. <laughs> See the electric canner? It's my mother-in-law. I gotta do something to use it. Okay. Um, free press. Coffee. This is community coffee. You use what you like. This is a half a cup, so I'm going to 
going to put a half a cup of ground coffee in the bottom. I don't know what this tin is, what kind of coffee came in here. We have had this for years, and this is what we put our coffee in. Um, you've probably seen it sitting back there, but it's not a coffee. It's not a fancy coffee. Um, not a fancy coffee container storage thing. I just used that. Gotta get some water. Get some water. Then I'm going to put, this is a quart jar. And I'm going to put a little bit more. You know, like a quart and a fourth. A quart and a fourth. Then we're going to get this a mix. Use cold water. This is cold brew. And this is strong. And I make it strong because I dilute it. I mean, you can just see from this thing. I dilute it a lot with my sugar-free Italian cream creamer. Now then, you can put this on like that and put it in the um, refrigerator. However, this long, I don't want to press the plunger down. So that's just kind of, oh, I have to rinse that off now. Um, so I just cover with a little bit of saran wrap or whatever. And then I'm going to put this in the refrigerator for two to three days. And let it do its thing. And then once, once the two to three days is up, I'll take it out. I'll put this in. And then slowly, you press this down. It's a, like a coffee filter, a mesh coffee filter, like metal, not disposable. And you just slowly push this down, and it keeps all the grounds in the bottom where you can pour the coffee out. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Pretty neat, So this is going in the refrigerator. Try it. Um, you may want to start out with maybe a half a cup and do it and see. I mean, because that is very strong. But I drink iced coffee because I want the pickup, the caffeine pickup. You know, if you're not supposed to be drinking caffeine, don't do this. But I like the taste of it and I like the caffeine pickup. So that's why I did mine kind of strong. And I don't like my regular coffee that strong. Um, but the iced coffee, I just, mm, I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. All right, we got three minutes on the brownies. <laughs> it's go time. Voila! Um, I had to cook it six more minutes because um, it was supposed to come out just slightly jiggly. You see that jiggle? Um, and when the timer went off, it was really jiggly. So it went six more minutes than what I wanted. Super duper hot. I am going to move those boxes and I'm going to put it on a, a wire rack so it can cool a little better. Mm. Oh, that's hot. Okay. So I got it on a wire rack. We're going to let it cool its jets. 
and then it's a little early for me to start um, supper, but I'm doing burritos. So it's going to be really quick, easy, not anything that you have to like um, write down directions for. So I'll be back when we're ready to do that. Okay. Starting on supper. First, I'm going to make some rice because we, we're doing a Mexican theme um, tonight. I've got my Instapot out and I just went to the pantry and I got some, this is salsa water. Last year when I made my salsa, the liquid that was left over, I canned that up too and I love to cook rice in this, especially when we're doing like a Mexican themed food. Um, so I've got my Instapot out and I'm going to put... One half cup of rice and then a pint of salsa water in the Instant Pot and put the lid on and mine has, well, I don't, I'm not going to say mine has, I would assume all of them do, but I'm just going to hit the rice cycle. Can get the lid on. Yeah, I have. Oh, there we go. Okay. Mm. All right. So we're going to power on, and I'm going to hit rice. Twelve minutes. I also store my rice in these one-gallon containers. Now, as I, I did prep, I have just browned up two pounds of ground beef with um, a small onion chopped up in it, and I just drained the grease off and put it back in the pan. Um, I will add, well, I'll take you over there when we finish it up. we got a little while, but the brownies... I gotta take a taste. They have cooled off considerably. So I'm just gonna get a small corner piece. I'm not a corner piece girl, I like the middle. But I'm not gonna just. So that's what it looks like. So let's try. That is two worlds colliding together in heavenly bliss. I lie not. That is delicious. It, I mean, it's a pecan pie brownie, and it tastes exactly as the title. It tastes like a pecan pie with the brownie. I do get the hint of the honey. Like I said, that's not my favorite way to make a pecan pie. I have made a pecan pie with honey, and I know that corn syrup is one of the worst things that you can put in your body, and the only time I use it is to make pecan pie. Okay, with my rant over... It would have been better with the corn syrup, but this is very good. It's just because the corn syrup really don't have a taste to it. The honey has that taste to it. Um, and I love honey, but anyway, there we go. But it's delicious. Mmm. Getting that bite of pecan. Mmm. Delicious. I'll leave that recipe down below. Okay, we're over here with the ground beef. I'm going to turn the eye... Back on to medium low. I'm just going to put just a squish of water in there. Then I got some taco seasoning. Get about two pinches. You can put more or less, however you like your tacos, taco meat. A 
bit more water. And we're going to let those seasonings mingle in with the meat for a little while. Just a little, a little bit more, maybe a half a pinch. Okay, we're gonna let this warm through. As this is warming through, I've got a jar of salsa that I had made last year, and I'm going to just add it to the meat. Let's assemble. Got casserole dish out. My rice is cooked. The beef is ready. I'm going to take a little bit of salsa and put it on the bottom just to keep it from sticking and not getting too dry. I got my tortillas. We're going to add some meat. Some rice. Yes, we're not doing rice as a side item. It's going on the burritos. Hot, hot, hot. Then we are just going to roll them. Put them um, seam side down. And we will continue on with the process. Camera's messing up. Battery might be going dead. Hope you can see beef, rice, roll it up. I'm going to continue doing this until my casserole is full. All's well. That ends well. It smells delicious. Yeah, I was a little bit too close. Um, mm, it smells delicious. Okay, so. I'm tired. I've been in the kitchen all day long. I've got um, 
The mashed potatoes are in the freeze dryer. It's going to take a day at least to hold tonight, tomorrow, um, for those to freeze dry. The brownie we sampled is good. I will eat another piece um, tonight. Later on with a glass of milk. That's how I roll. Um, so I'm going to sit down and eat this. I know it's delicious. I mean, this is not authentic Mexican, but this is Kathy Mexican. Southwest, Kathy Macy Burrito, whatever you want to call it, it's good. And this does make a delicious um, freezer meal. So you can easily do this, put it all, you know, mix it all up. Don't bake it. Um, cover it with some aluminum foil, some saran wrap. Stick it in the freezer. Um, when you're ready to eat, pull it out. The morning, well, the night before you're going to eat it, pull it out, put it in the refrigerator, um, and let it thaw. And then you'll just pop it in the oven and bake it. Voila! I really should have doubled the recipe and done another one of these, but I didn't. I didn't. So y'all have a great rest of your day, evening, wherever you're at in the 24-hour spectrum while you're watching this. And I will see y'all next time. Thank you for being here. Don't forget, hit subscribe, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and I'll see you next time. Bye.